guys so this video is gonna show you how I program my Arduino and Android and so these two guys can send and receive data from each other so first I'm using MIT App Inventor to do this and uh, let's do a quick demo of what is it about and then I'll teach you how to do the programming later okay connect with code okay so this is the interface that I did in uh, App Inventor and when I press activate it will send a character to activate an event in my Arduino program and at the same time Arduino will send back a text saying that yeah I, I, I got it and then uh, it gets me, gives me a feedback that I actually activate something so at first I need to connect to the Bluetooth adapter that I have connect Bluetooth so when the red light stops blinking means I'm, I'm connected alright so I've connected and I've programmed my app vendor that I will send a character A to activate an event and then the event will send back number one back to Android so here it is yes I'm getting number one so and at the same time when the button is deactivate it will send a character B to my Arduino and it will send back number two back to my Android yes I'm doing that okay so notice when I do this I also program my LED to blink for half a second to show that I'm indeed activating something from my Arduino this could be used to activate a relay to power a motor by using your mobile app so so in this program there are some of the key things that you need to re remember when you program your Bluetooth so the trick that I do here is I have my delimiter bike which I set to 35 35 in a RC table is actually a hash key you see yep so this is a hash key so with a decimal 35 and uh, I will explain later why I use this in my uh, uh, Android code Arduino code sorry but uh, let me show you what's all Android code about so when Android sending text you need to use this block send text and you set A to activate the first event and then this is the data one that you send to the code and number 19 is the acknowledge format for this uh, Bluetooth communication while you receive thanks from Arduino I set number of byte to negative one which means the the Andro Android will actually read the string down to the last bit which is uh, at the negative one position and eventually you read a hash to know where should they where should it stop reading and yeah so these are the main thing that you should do when you program your app inventor and in Android code so what I do here is I first of course you declare event so I register function I have on event A and off event B so when I click activate it actually sends A and yep so the on event will be activated and then once I activate this event, I will print X, which is uh, in here I have a get integer. After I receive one from Android, X becomes one, and then I send back number one back to my Android, as you can see in the previous demo. And then at the same time, I will do my onboard LED lights up for half a second. So that goes to number two. The second event we do the same thing and you notice after I sending a feedback data like y equals to 2 for the, for this instant I will also send back the hash as for my delimited, delimited byte to know that hey the data has finished sent please acknowledge so yeah so this is 
what I have done in the program to achieve the communication between Android and Arduino. Thank you.